Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today again we will discuss uh, another topic which is the measures of central tendency. So there are three types of measures of central tendency namely number one uh, mean number two median and the last is mode. So we will find the mean, median, and mode from group data. So, what is the formula in finding the mean of group data? So, the formula is ito. Tingnan natin. So, mean formula is uh, x bar, that is the symbol for mean, equals summation of f times x over n, where f is the class frequency x the value of x is the midpoint or the class mark and n that is the number of cases or the total frequency so before we will find the value of the mean first we need to complete the frequency distribution table so based on the formula a while ago the value of frequency or f is the total frequency of f that is frequency so we will find the value of the class mark or that is x midpoint of its class so how to find the value of x here so from mag base tayo sa class interval so to find the value of x you need to add this one 86 plus 90 then i-divide mo yan sa 2 that is equivalent to 88 Tingnan natin midpoint of its class so 86 87 88 89 90 so what is the midpoint from 86 to 90 so 86 87 88 so ikatatlo that is 88 how about next class 81 82 83 so that is the value of x 83 Next, 77, 76, 77, 78, value of x. Then, 71, 72, 73, 73. Next, 66, 67, 68. Next, that is 63. Next, that is 58. Next is 53. Then we will find the total frequency. 8 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 10 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4. If you have a calculator, just add. And the total is, that is 50. That is the total frequency. How about the class interval? Or that is the value of i. So, class interval... Tingnan natin, 90 minus 85, that is 5. Then, 86 to 90, that is 5. So, the interval or the class interval is 5. Next, how to find the mean of the group theta? We will complete the frequency distribution table. So, we will find the value of fx. What is how to find the value of fx? That is frequency times class mark or midpoint so multiply lang natin ito so 8 times 88 that is 704 704 next 5 times 83 that is 415 next 7 times 78 that is 540 Six, the nine times seventy-three that is six hundred fifty-seven. Then ten times sixty-eight that is six hundred eighty. Four times sixty-three that is two hundred fifty-two. Next, three times fifty-eight that is equivalent to one hundred seventy-four. Then four times fifty-three that is two hundred. 12 next based on the formula kanina 
So, x bar, or that is mean, equals summation of f of x over n, or that is the total frequency. So, what is the total sum of f times x? So, you need to add the total sum. So, the total sum is, that is the total summation of f times x, that is equivalent to 704 plus 415 plus 546 plus 657 plus 680 plus 252 plus 174 plus 215 the total is 3640 then how to find the value of the mean from group data yan lang natin substitute so total sum that is 300 or 3640 over value of n saan natin niya makita yan base formula that is the number of cases or the total frequency so what is the total frequency that is 50 so 50 next 3640 divide mo sa 50 and that is 72.80 so that is the value of the mean for group data 72.80 next tapos na tayo sa mean we will proceed to median so in order to find the value of the median first oh, again we need to find the lower boundary and the least than cumulative frequency so lower boundary how to find the lower boundary lower boundary itong first Lower limit, lower boundary, ito yung lower limit natin. Minusan lang natin yan ng 0.5. 0.5. So, 86 minus 0.5, that is 85.5. 81 minus 0.5, that is 80.5. 76 minus 0.5. That is 75.5. 71 minus 0.5. That is 70.5. 66 minus 0.5. That is 65.5. Then 61 minus 0.5. That is 60.5. 56. 0.5. That is 55.5. Then. 51 minus 0.5 that is 50.5 okay next to find the cumulative frequency cumulative frequency is mag base tayo sa highest value ng class interval so highest value ng class interval natin makita dito sa itaas 86 to 90 that is the highest class interval then to find the cumulative frequency, the value of the cumulative frequency, mag-base tayo sa total frequency. Kung ano yung total frequency, ilagay mo yan sa pinakamataas na class interval. So, yung class interval natin is 86 to 90. Ilagay natin yung high total frequency dito. And that is 50. Ito yan o. Oh. Total frequency. Next, 50 minus 8, that is 40. Okay, 42. Next, 42 minus 5, that is 37. Then, 37 minus 7, that is 30. 30 minus 9, that is 21. 21 minus 10, that is 11. 11 minus 4, that is 7. 7 minus 3, that is 4. Tingnan natin, i-check natin. Dapat itong last cumulative frequency, that is equivalent to last frequency natin dito. Equivalent yan lahat sila. 4, 4. Total frequency is 50. Din dito, 50. Pwede rin, 4 plus 3, that is 7 plus 4. 11 plus 10 21 21 plus 9 that is 30 
plus 7 that is 37 plus 5 that is 37 then 37 plus 5 that is 42 plus 8 that is 50 next find the median so formula in finding the median is ito median lower boundary of the median class plus the quantity of n over 2 subtract distance cumulative frequency times i over frequency of the median class so how to find the pre how to find the median class so median class it is the class where the that is the value of the median class it is the greater than or equal to summation of f summation of f over 2 so greater than or equal to summation of f over 2 summation of frequency over 2 so what is the total sum of the frequency that is 50 over 2 that is 25 magbase tayo sa 25 so 25 lies between in what cumulative frequency so 25 lies between 21 and 30 21 and 30 but median class it is the class greater than or equal to 25 so mas malaki pa sa 25 so mas malaki sa 25 21 ba or 30 so greater than 25 and that is 30 so ito na yung median class greater than 25 median class greater than 25 okay so we will use the formula formula median class equals lower boundary plus quantity of n over 2 subtract list than cumulative frequency over frequency of the median class times i okay next what is the value of the lower boundary of the median class lower of the lower boundary of the median class dito na kayo mag base lahat value of the median class lower boundary of the median class tingnan natin that is 70.5 plus plus n over 2 that is total frequency that is 25 subtract less than cumulative frequency that is tingnan natin less than cumulative frequency cumulative frequency before the median class so before a median class that is 21 so 21 over frequency of the median class frequency of the median class that is 9 times interval that is 5 then simplify 70.5 plus 25 minus 21 that is 4 over 9 times 5 so 70.5 plus 40 times 4 times 5 that is 20 over 9 so 70.5 plus 20 over 9 and that is 2.22 so what is your answer that is 72.72 and that is the value of the median so 72.72 lies between 71 to 75 dito pa rin natin makita yung median dito sa median class okay ha. next again last is yung mode ito pinakamadali lang ito relation ko na ito ha mode what is the formula in finding the mode ito formula formula it is the lower boundary of the modal class plus d sub 1 over the sub 1 plus the sub 2 times i so where lower bound lb sub mo that is lower boundary of the modal class okay ito yung d sub 1 
D sub 1, it is the difference between the highest frequency and the frequency of, of okay, frequency just below yeah. D sub 2, the difference of the highest frequency and the frequency just above the frequency or the frequency of the modal class so, tandaan take note that to find the mode from group data okay, mode or what is modal class it is the class with the highest frequency tandaan modal class it is the class with the highest frequency so automatically kung ano yung given highest frequency dyan that is your modal class so based on this given frequency ano po yung highest frequency natin dyan ok very good that is 10 highest frequency automatically that is your modal class. Dito na kayong mag-base lahat. Modal class. Uh, lower boundary of the modal class. Okay. Ito na. Modal class. So, using the formula, mode equals lower boundary of the modal class plus d sub 1 over d sub 1 plus d sub 2 times i. So, let's substitute. So, lower boundary of the modal class. So, lower boundary of the modal class, that is 65.5, 65.5 plus d sub 1, it is the difference between the frequency of the modal class and below. So, that is 10 minus 4, that is 6 over d sub 1, 6 plus and d sub 2, frequency of the modal class, above okay difference so that is 1 times 5 so that is 65.5 plus 30 over 7 and that is equivalent to okay 30 over 7 so that is 65.5 plus 4.29 and that is equivalent to 69.79 So, the value of the mode is 69.79 Saan natin makita yung 69.79? Dito pa rin natin makita sa modal class 66 to 70 Okay, 69.79 Dito pa rin natin makita sa modal class Okay Again, good morning and Welcome to my channel. Good luck with this.